Hey guys, Quentin from Fandroid.com here with the HTC Flyer. This thing was released May 22nd here in the United States. Best Buy is the exclusive retailer of the device and they are selling it for 500 bucks. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi only model, no 3G radios or uh, 4G radios inside. You can get one of those from Sprint when they release their Evo View 4G, which is the uh, their version of the Flyer. So other than that, this is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth only as far as radio goes. Other specs include the 7 inch display, 1.3 megapixel camera on the front, 5 megapixel camera on the back. You also have 1 gig of RAM inside, 16 gigs of internal storage, which is expandable up to 32 meg uh, sorry, gigabytes. Um, you also have a 1.5 gigahertz processor that's single core by Qualcomm. And uh, HTC Sense with Android 2.3, so no honeycomb unfortunately, but uh, HTC Sense has been tabletized for the flyer. I'm not sure many people will have too much of a problem with it when they see the types of things they'll be able to do with it. Uh, in particular, this with this scribe pen that they're selling, uh, this is an optional accessory. It does not come with the flyer, unfortunately. You have to pay an extra 80 bucks for this thing. It does come with the uh, one AAA battery, so uh, that'll be pretty nice to check out. This is for like note taking and stuff, so uh, pretty cool technology there. But we're just going to go ahead and unbox the thing for now. Take the covered the cover of the box off and there it is on the front uh, so you can see everything we saw in the box the front face of the camera you can't exactly see the uh, the capacitive buttons here especially not under the plastic so let's go ahead and just take that out we'll take it out of the plastic so here it is the HTC flyer uh, so right away you can tell that the 7 inch size is great for holding in your hand uh, one hand use very comfortable uh, doesn't feel too heavy not too light but not too heavy either a uh, great a uh, great weight uh, just feels very comfortable and I'm sure it'll fit in more than uh, plenty of handbags and purses and book bags and whatnot I'm a big fan of the 7 inch size so I'm glad HTC went that route um, here right away in the front you can see the front facing camera and they have uh, light and proximity sensors next to those uh, next to that sorry on the right hand side and on the bottom you would be able to see the capacitive buttons for home and you back and uh, the scribe button but you can't see those while the device is not turned on uh, HTC logo right here of course on the back HTC logo we have kind of like a silver matte finish uh, pretty good material feels like um, with HTC sense of course and we have your two speaker holes there here we have the 5 megapixel camera uh, no flash to accompany that unfortunately and the power button is up here at the top you can see that next to the volume uh, sorry for the headset jack now the volume rocker is here uh, so volume rocker up and down uh, not exactly sure what these two holes are for I'd like to guess that these are microphone holes because I didn't see the microphone hole anywhere else on the device um, but I will not make any assumptions at this point uh, but uh, it would be foolish not to include microphone holes so we'll test that out of course and here is the micro USB port for charging and data sync. If I can get that focused there, yep. So there it is. And there's no user replaceable battery, uh, so that's becoming a theme now, uh, and for good reason. So not like an HTC for that. So let's just go ahead and turn it on real quick and see what else comes inside the box. Uh, and by the way, the display is uh, 1024 by 600 resolution, so a bit lower than honeycomb devices, but that's to be expected with a tablet of this size. Let's go ahead and put that down here on the table and see what else comes inside. So not going to be much exciting here. There was a tray. Uh, we have the quick start guys, manuals, warranty, and all that stuff. Um, what else do we have here? Not exactly sure what these are. Seem like stickers of some sort. Uh, not gonna mess with them <laughs> if I don't know what they what they're for. And here's the charging adapter, the charging cable for the flyer. Just plug that into the wall. Pretty standard. And then there's just a standard USB cable here. Uh, so actually, this is quite different from what HTC usually does. They usually go the the black route with all their accessories. These are all white. So um, pretty interesting stuff there. But other than that, not much interesting in the box, so we're just going to go ahead and put that off to the side again. And here it is, the HTC Flyer. So, uh, HTC Sense tablet version, you can see it's kind of like a 3D. Uh, it's, it's pretty much a 
I think it's the same uh, type of. I think it's the same interface as on the Evo 3D actually, and I w w may be on the Sensation when that comes out. So, uh, but this one has specific apps for tablets. So uh, here you have your My Shelf widget. This is for books and stuff. So obviously, a lot of people are going to be using this to read books. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, HTC Hub. We have Press Reader, Snap Booth, uh, Soundhound, YouTube Reader. PDF viewer note that's going to be a popular application for that scribe pen which we'll take a look at later and uh, everything else is pretty standard browser Android apps uh, connected media car panel so, uh, so yeah. here's the scribe pen uh, as you can see there are these two buttons here not exactly sure what they're for I uh, haven't really looked them up yet I've looked in the quick start guide they didn't mention anything about it uh, about them and uh, so I'm going to take a look at that later I'm sure there's something about it in the manual. If not, I can look online or I can just play around with it. So I'm definitely going to do that. But for now, uh, we're just going to play with the pen. I've already got the battery inside. It uh, feels great in the hand. feels very natural. Uh, about as heavy as a ballpoint pen, uh, an expensive ballpoint pen. Um, so it feels very natural. You're going to love it for note taking and uh, uh, whatever you do with it. So you can see that point there at the top and this is for uh, interfacing with that display so whenever you touch the display with it it'll know that that's the scribe pen and not any other kind of stylus and it'll automatically enter draw mode so pretty cool pretty cool stuff there uh, so let's just go ahead and play with it for a minute alright so we're back with the HTC flyer you have the pen in hand I'm going to power this on real quick it's already powered on I'm just going to turn it on and uh, right away you can see this is a variation of HTC Sense 3.0 for tablets of course uh, you can kind of pull the application down you want to go into and it'll jump right into that but we're just going to unlock it for now and here's the UI so you can kind of scroll this is like a little carousel type of thing if you scroll really fast it'll go zoom and stop on a random thing because I don't know where I scroll to but uh, if you want to draw something you just take the pen and start drawing right on the screen uh, it'll take you into scribble mode so there you can uh, just draw anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are on the screen. You can be in a browser. You can be in a video. I'm not sure you can be in a video, but you can be literally, almost literally anywhere in the screen. So uh, let's say we have a book we want to read and jump over to the. Well, we have to actually jump out of scribble mode. Jump over to books and uh, let's do Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So we're reading by Lewis Carroll and let's underline his name. And right away, um, Books is an application customized for the pen, so it didn't actually go into scribe mode from anywhere, not as you would expect. Okay, but say we go into a uh, browser. Let's go into browser, and we're not going to have internet connection, so it's going to be kind of weird. There it is right there. And let's just draw here. It's going to go right into scribe mode, right on the browser. Uh, you can go ahead and write whatever you want. If you just see something and you need to write it real quick and you, have, you don't have time to go out of the browser, go into the different application, you can just write right there on the screen. And then you can save the note, you can print it, you can share it via whatever sharing, uh, sharing enabled applications you have in your phone or your, on your tablet. And let's try to save it. Let's see what it'll do. So it saved it to notes and actually saves the web page too. So it saves a screenshot of whatever you were doing. Doesn't matter if you're on a home screen, in the browser, or wherever you are. It just saves a screenshot. So that's a, that's pretty awesome stuff in my opinion. I'm kind of geeked out right now um, <laughs> about that. So it saves it right into the note application, and this will sync up to Evernote once you put in your details and all that stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and delete that. Um, select note or select word and just delete, how can I delete, cut, okay and uh, we can enter a title so let's say uh, unboxing or something um, we can't do that, we have to actually type the title but we can write so uh, let's write my name Whoops. so it's actually pretty accurate, when I try uh, this is actually my best handwriting, so my handwriting sucks. It's not, it's not a fault of the flyer or the pen. It's my handwriting, but it's very accurate um, in that it captures every stroke and, and very accurately. And uh, so this is going to be pretty good for folks who want to take notes but don't necessarily want to carry around uh, notebooks and pens and all that stuff. So pretty cool stuff there. A lot more to jump into with this thing. We have this thing for what two weeks, so we're going to take it through its paces. We're going to go the whole nine yards with it and show you guys what's really up with it and what you can expect once you walk into Best Buy and buy it. So that's the HTC Flyer being unboxed and my horrible handwriting. QuentinFanDroid.com, thanks.